Hello YouTube, I'm APC, and today I'm going to show you some quick tips about if statements. So before I um, move too far ahead, I'd like to mention that I'm using GameMaker right now, but all the everything I show you in this video and most of what I show you in these quick tips videos are things that can be applied to any language. And also, um, the goal of these quick tips is, to, these are just like a lot of tricks that I use often and they... Uh, tend to make things look a lot more concise for, for me and I can do things quicker that way. So it's easier to read and it's shorter overall. So for if statements, one thing that you might not know is that if you only have one statement in the brackets as I do now, you don't even need the brackets. If you take away the brackets, it'll only read the first item you have. So here I, if I take away the brackets, that will do that too. So that just looks a little bit cleaner and if I only have one item I tend not to use brackets. So that's the first trick. And the second trick, um, can fly is a Boolean variable. It can be either true or false. So here I'm I'm checking whether it's true to see if we can actually fly. But let's do a little truth table. So here I have a truth table. And then let's see can fly equals equals true. So when can fly is equal to true, then can fly equals equals true is equal to true. When can fly is equal to false, then can fly equals equals true is equal to false. So they're exactly the same. Doing this doesn't really change anything. And the only limitation in in these if statements is that they must be true or false statements. So since as you can see can fly is already a true or false statement and adding the equals equals true doesn't seem to change anything, then you can just take that away. So as you can see it's a little bit easy to read now. So if we can fly and we're pressing up, as opposed to if can fly equals true and we're pressing up. So this is another thing that I think makes things look a little more concise, a little bit easier to read. So those are the first two things. Now here's the third thing I want to talk about. Let's see. I put together a monster if statement here. And this isn't just made up for the sake of making up something complicated. I worked on a fighting game project recently and this is actually a line of code that was in there. So and once you get bigger projects, these things can get really messy and really hard to read. So what I recommend doing is breaking apart these into multiple variables. So for instance, well, what I'm checking in these parentheses is whether we can move. So if I'm hurt, if I'm falling, if I'm attacking, that means that I can't move. I can't, I can't do anything. I'm stuck. So we're going to say bar can move. I'm going to pop that in there. So, as you can see, if I just put can move in there, you can see that how that already looks a little better. And by the way, I use a var here because I only want can, I'm only using can move in this little section right here. So, whenever you're using it in a tiny section, vars are better to use. Okay, and then I can break it down further. So, this whole thing is determined whether I can punch, so I can just say can punch, and then I can pop all that in there. And it just looks a whole lot cleaner. So now I can just say can punch in here and then when I'm reading through this, I'll just I can just skip over this and I can see okay, that's that's can punch. I don't have to try and reason out what I'm going for in this whole logic sequence. So that is the end of this quick tips video. Hope you found it helpful. Um and I will see you guys in the next tutorial I guess.